I want to demonstrate today how to uh, make a real fun project technique called puddles. I've just cut out eight six inch squares of different colored glass, laid them out in uh, just an interesting color variance. You can do this in any size uh, squares you like. You can do it with less pieces, you can do it with more pieces. Uh, it's just a matter of experimentation and trying uh, a bunch of different fun things. What I'm going to do now is I will take all of these, I'm just going to put them together like that, I'm going to put them in the kiln and fire it to a full fuse. Now that's an inch thick now, but when I fire it to a full fuse it's going to squish down and spread out and it'll be just a little bit more than a quarter inch thick, but considerably bigger than it is right now. Here it is, right out of the kiln. It started off six inches Square. Now it's about nine inches. Uh, you can see the way it spread out uh, and all of the different layers of glass. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut it up into pieces. So, easy way to do it is to just score it. Now you can try and use breaking pliers. This is a little thicker then quarter inch, so it's it's pretty darn awkward to try, even squeezing hard, it doesn't want to crack. Nice way is to, after I've scored it, just whack it with a hammer. So, really quick and easy way to uh, break up something like this. size pieces. Here's all the pieces all smashed up into little chunks. I'm going to put those in the kiln now. We're going to stand them on edge in the kiln. We're going to stand them up like this and then they melt down and you'll see this really cool pattern that evolves from it. Here's all of the puddles, uh, the broken pieces just fired. We stood them on edge and they melted down this way. The great thing about this is you can't predict which way they're going to fall. They don't necessarily melt just straight down. Uh, they'll usually tilt a little bit to one side or the other. So if you don't like the way they tilted, you could always take that and just turn it over and fire it the other way. So if you don't like the way it came out this way, just fire it and choose the other side. You have lots of options with them. The fun thing about these is that uh, you get these large pieces for different projects. You, always, you can take your little tiny scraps, really some interesting things. You can, uh, here's a couple of little tiny pieces that would make lovely earrings, several that would make nice pendants, uh, lots of options with these. They're just a really interesting color combination. Here's a different combination. This was 12 layers, uh, so the greater the number of layers the thinner the bands are going to be because remember when you do these puddles it's all going to melt down to a quarter inch thick so if we start with the previous one I showed you it only had eight layers so it's going to have thicker bands this one because it had 12 layers is going to have thinner stripes uh, just a, a different variation a different kind of effect with with the whole idea of the puddles here just another uh, different color combination, all bright earth tones and orange and yellows. Just another interesting look. Here's a project done where the uh, puddles were fused to melt right into a half inch thick uh, clear project, then bent over an S mold to create this interesting shape. Just a just a really fun, interesting way to uh, to use these puddles. You can this way or. And it's a fun look, just uh, freestanding on the S shape. 